Hello and welcome to HL English 12, a modern classroom. I am in my craft room at my house with my cat. I'm trying to get him on screen, but he keeps turning away. There he is. There's Wolf. And um, our objective here for this lesson is students will be able to describe a modern classroom and explain how it is different from a traditional classroom. So. Here we go. What is a modern classroom? That is what we're gonna be focused on in this video. I love this quote. There's no neutral education. Education is either for domestication or for freedom. In this class, education is for freedom. I am all about equity and equity pedagogy grounds everything that I do in the classroom. And so what am I about? I'm about what is fair and um, I think it's my responsibility to make sure things are fair in the classroom. So if you ever feel like things are not fair, please tell me and I'll schedule a meeting where just the two of us talk about it. Um, and uh, it may not change my mind, um, but I'm always open to conversations about what is fair. Um, I want you to be able to finish high school and be able to advocate for yourself, to fight for um, your rights for uh, to be treated fairly in this world that is full of unfairness. That is my key goal. And so that's why I've ad adopted the modern classroom. Modern classroom is designed thinking about um, different groups of students in the classroom and how we are all at different places. So if you think about the traditional classroom that's a lecture format, you may find yourself so bored out of your mind because you have already learned the information that's being presented and yet you still are stuck there having to listen to it and having to take notes and it'll feel like busy work totally meaningless because you already have mastered the skill you may feel overwhelmed. Maybe um, you've been absent a lot due to no fault of your own and you're not sure how to get caught up or the work is just uh, way beyond where your skill level is without help. You need extra help and you're not even really sure how to ask for that help. Modern Classroom is designed to alleviate these problems and it's really cool. This guy, uh, Kareem Farah, is the creator of the modern classroom and he um, led uh, the training through this summer. He actually came to Cooper, well, virtually, right, in a Zoom meeting last year and said, hey, anybody want to do this? And about 40 of us signed up and did the training and I decided to do all of my classes now in this modern classroom format. It's a research-based model of teaching that re-envisions how classrooms can best serve students. And he created it in 2018 as a nonprofit organization. He had already tried it in his own classroom and he's a math teacher. And now, well, now he's the CEO of this nonprofit, but um, he started as a math teacher who was finding a lot of students struggling. <clears throat> and so he designed the modern classroom. And so I love the fact that it's designed by a teacher for other teachers and that it's totally not, not, <clears throat> not for profit at all. Um, and plus it's super new. It was just created in 2018. Um, it's highly differentiated. You're going to be working on your own stuff at uh, your own pace, getting help as needed. It's data driven because you will have a mastery check to show that you've mastered a skill before you can move on to the next lesson. And it allows for high quality interaction between you and me because you no longer have to sit through the boring uh, direct instruction lectures where a, where, um, a teacher is trying to interact with 30 students at a time or 20 students at a time. Um, instead, I'll be working with you one on one or in small groups, helping you with whatever you need when you need it. And here's a link where you can learn more about um, modernclassrooms.org. Um, there's three key pieces to the modern classroom. The first is blended instruction. So students accent, access new content through teacher-created videos. And as a teacher, I use class time to support uh, students as needed. Um, Self-paced structure is the next. Students learn at their own paces within each unit of study. Students have the time they need to master content and skills. So I will be expecting you to be working in the classroom, um, not doing work at home as homework, but in the classroom, because that's where I am and that's where I can help you. Um, 
Also, the third piece of uh, the modern classroom is the mastery-based grading. Students progress only when you've demonstrated mastery. So students advance through material only when ready. Students build persistence and growth mindsets through revision and metacognitive reflection. Do you know this word metacognitive? Meta meaning self-referential, right? So when you're doing something that's metacognitive, you are learning about how you learn. And it's like that time when you realized you couldn't read a book and understand it in front of, I don't know, what, what are you doing these days? You're playing video games. You can't do both things at the same time. Uh, the day you realize that you're practicing metacognitive reflection. And so um, the mastery-based grading aspect helps you to do that on a day-to-day -day basis. You're going to need these materials for the classroom. Whoa, I went through that a little bit faster than I meant to. Chromebook access to Schoology every single day. I hope you like the new ones. They're supposed to be better. Make sure that bad boy is charged. Also, bring headphones you like if you want to use your own headphones. You will be needing them every class period. Um, I have some extras in case yours are broken or lost. Um, make sure that you've got something to write with, although I do have tons in the front of the room that you can use, uh, pens and pencils. And we'll be using a unit packet that I want you to keep in a three ring binder. So some units will have multiple packets. This first unit is pretty short, so you'll just have one packet. Um, and then the last thing that you need, of course, is the book that we are reading at the time. Deadlines are a little bit different in the modern classroom. We have target deadlines for all the formative assessments. And these are posted in the objective calendar that I gave you and also in Schoology. Those are soft deadlines. All assignments have to be completed by the end of the unit posted in the objective calendar and on Schoology. Sorry, that got cut off a little bit. The end of the unit, this is our hard deadline. And so the summative assessments have to be completed then. And the formative assessments, if you didn't get them done according to the target deadline, they have to be turned in when that summative assessment is due or they will not be accepted at all. <coughs> You're going to know if you are on pace because there's going to be a pacing tracker that I will update on a daily basis. It's going to look something like this. And um, your name will actually be on the pacing tracker. And there's a key showing um, if you're behind on pace, ahead of pace, or if you need to revise. And this is just a way for us all to know where we're at. Um, and if you um, need some extra help, it's a way that I can group you together. So if you see um, student one and student eight who are behind are gonna work with student 13 who's ahead by two lessons. So it's a way for us to sort of organically collaborate in the classroom, which is the best way to collaborate, just based on who needs what and where everybody's at. We're also gonna have these mastery checks, which are quizzes, basically little quizzes at the end of each lesson. And um, it's gonna show, you know, did you, grasp this concept? Did you, are you able to show mastery on this skill? And we're going to run them a little bit differently than the rest of the work. When you take a mastery check, it's going to be very formal feeling, okay? Because you won't be able to have your Chromebook. You won't be able to have your phone. I'm going to actually ask that you put it in a Tupperware box that I have. And you'll sit in um, the blue tape area of those four desks in the front of the room. Um, that's the mastery check zone. And I got to do that because so much of the rest of the class will be collaborative. But the mastery check has to be really formal, really specific, showing that yes, you independently did this um, without any other sources. I'm going to usually let you use um, your packet and your book uh, for whatever mastery check you're on but not a Chromebook, nothing electronic, no phones, and no other people. Um, if you pass, you're going to move on and celebrate. You're going to go to the next lesson, whoop-de-doo. And if you don't pass, that's when I'm going to give you some extra help and you will revise. The good news is, is you're going to get the same amount of points um, if you, you know, 
pass this mastery check on the sixth time or on the first time. You have to show mastery in order to pass and move on to the next lesson. Summative assessments are at the end of the unit. They'll usually be in the form of an essay and they are 80% of your grade and um, they will be uh, graded according to IB criteria. The objectives calendar is going to show you everything that you need to do. Um, these are all the different steps in a lesson and these are all the different lessons in a unit. Grades um, are going to be made of the mastery checks and the packet work as well as the summative assessment and they'll be scored according to IB rubrics and criteria. Um, the IB rubric that we're using first semester is the higher level essay rubric where criterion A is knowledge, understanding, and interpretation, B is analysis and evaluation, C is focus, organization, and development, and D is use of language. Um, so the mastery checks and unit packets will also contain must do, should do, and aspire to do assignments. You must do the must do's, you should do the should do's, and you'll aspire to do the aspire to do, to do assignments. The more you do, the higher your grade will be. Summative assessments will be worth 80% of your grade, but it will be difficult to score higher than a C if you only complete must-do assignments. So keep this in mind. You do have um, the privilege of only doing must-do assignments, but it's going to be hard to get higher than a C. The more should-dos and aspire to-dos, uh, the higher grade you will get. All right, if you want help, I'm going to use this model and it seems silly at first, but it's going to help because um, of the nature of the modern classroom with everybody doing their own thing. Uh, put your name up on the board when you need help. And if you need help, I'm not sure why this keeps doing that, I'm sorry. Um, if you need help but it's not super, super important, you got plenty of other things to do, it's going to be in the green area. Um, if it's pretty important and you really need me to get there as soon as um, I can, it's going to be in the yellow. Um, if your computer broke in half or only the Y key works or something of that nature, you're going to be in the red zone. Um, and then there's also another spot for check my work and you put your name there if you need me to check something before you can actually move on to something else. Uh, we have some expectations in here too, they're basic. Use your time efficiently. Stay positive. If you have a question, ask it. If you cause a problem, fix it. Be kind to others, especially if they don't deserve it. So Modern Classroom is a class where teachers use instructional videos instead of lectures. The students can move on at their own pace, getting help when needed, and moving to the next lesson after showing mastery of the content. And I'm just so excited to try it with you. I'm going to ask you guys to do a lot of reflecting, a lot of <clears throat> surveys and feedback to tell me what's working, what isn't working. This is the first time I've ever tried this, and it's overhauling my entire curriculum. So it's, <clears throat> it's a pretty big deal for me. And... Um, I really want to know how it's working for you because my ultimate goal is to help you succeed in a fair way in the classroom. Thanks.